everyone, welcome back to another video and if you're new here, hi my name is Tamina and I make university lifestyle content and fashion content and for this week it's precisely the last word in my sentence content so i've been getting a lot of dms about how i take and edit my instagram photos a lot of people ask about the equipment the apps i use the settings in the apps i use and genuinely just how do i like arrange the photo how do i take it what do i do i plan or anything or do i just do it like randomly spontaneously you know so i thought let me just make this video to answer all those questions because i know some people their 2020 resolution is to go into instagram content creation or to just learn how to edit photos whatever it is then this video is for i hope that sentence made sense dramatically <laughs> anyway if this if that is an interest of yours oh my god can i can i talk today if that is an interest of yours then this is the video for you i'm the type of person who wakes up showers makes myself up wears a cute outfit and then my mom asks me where are you going and i'm like what do you mean instagram <laughs> so shamelessly that's what i do and that's what i've done today again because you might be wondering why am i looking so kepinski where am i going nowhere i'm going to take photos for instagram and to record this video so that's what we're going to be doing today i'm just going to show you my entire process and i hope that's helpful for most of you and i hope you guys enjoy this video because i'm very excited to make it and let's just get started so the first thing I think is the process behind the photos and you guys this is everything from your makeup look to your outfit and everything it just determines the whole vibe of your photo so for me you guys know that I'm addicted to the 90s vibe and this is what I constantly try and go for but I try and make it modern so I have a whole Pinterest page of inspo outfits makeup inspo all the stuff I you guys just know I'm not that good at makeup but I try okay <laughs> what you're seeing here today is a trial so I usually just try and do something very simple i don't like going for something like doing something that's hard for me then i do it and i look like a clown <laughs> so i usually choose very simple makeup looks try that and then i choose the outfit that i want so that i can know what kind of vibe i'm going for in terms of the background where i'm going to shoot what props i'm going to add and all that hey i make it sound like i was such a photographer and all that but you know you know you do what you gotta do <laughs> see the thing about content creation is it may look very vain it's like you wake up you do makeup on yourself you wear a cute outfit and you take photos of yourself and then post them on a platform for people to tell you and wait patiently for people to tell you how good you looked <laughs> but you guys think of it as art your inspo that means you've already chosen whether you're going to wear makeup or not you've chosen your outfit you already know the whole vibe that you're curating and that you're going for so the second thing you have to do is um you know where are you going to shoot all of this sis where are you going to shoot all of this bro are you going to go outside are you doing it in your room and for me my first answer is always my room because i have social anxiety i don't like the outside i just i like staying inside <laughs> so today we're going to be shooting in my room i'm going to show you the background that i'm going to go for and that's the thing about curating a feed I don't really have a certain like theme that I go for but somehow my theme kind of maybe looks coherent because I always shoot with white like white is really I really like white I don't know why so now the background that I'm obviously going to use is this background um, I want to put like a chair but I don't know how it will look. I'll try some shots when I'm standing and then I'll try some shots when I'm in a chair. I wish we had like just like a white stool or just like a black stool but we have like this screaming pink stool but that could also be good so I'm going to try a pink stool. I'm also going to try this chair and I'm going to try a wooden chair before um no this is after i try the standing kind of pictures and yeah i prefer sitting down though because then i have to do less with my body and just maybe do something with my hands but yeah let's just set up this background and then we try to take some photos up 
update first of all in the photos it's like my face is not focused and the lighting has decided to just cast a shadow of negativity on me so it's really cold right now and the lighting has gone to like zero so yeah we're just going to try and take like four more and then i'm gonna try and edit <laughs> So I'm over here sitting and just treating myself to some yummy gummies because they're not the only things that are sour. The weather and these gummies, same WhatsApp group. Like, what is it? Why is there a big cloud? Why is there Nimbus? No, is it Nimbus? The ones for rain. Columbus. Columbus clouds. Okay, why is there a dark gray cloud? That's what I want to know. So yeah, guys, we're just going to start editing in like a few minutes and I don't even know if these photos will make it on the ground. Probably they'll just be for us to see and to, to just acknowledge my effort, you know? So yeah, you guys will see, I don't know, stay tuned to know whether these photos make it to Instagram. <laughs> okay guys, so we're back, we're about to edit. We only got four good photos, but the good thing is I usually only post one, but let's just get to the editing. So the first app that I use is VSCO <laughs> or Vasco, I call it Vasco. So that's the app I use. I bought it, but you don't have to buy it to use the filters. And then the second app I use is Facetune. So we're first going to go into VSCO because that's where I get my filters. I have a recipe, which is just a fancy way to say a preset. So this is where you put all together all the settings that you really like from which certain filter and then you put them in a way you like them. So um, the main filter that I use here is C6 and I've made like four recipes from C6 so to fit different types of lighting. So the good thing is when you import like a photo, uh, I'm going to put a small box over here that's just going to like show you exactly what I'm doing on my phone. So when you click your recipes, you see it shows you over here how each um, recipe would look on that exact photo that you want to edit. So for example, I always, always like I'm addicted to the first recipe I have. I always, that's my go-to, I always click on it. And if it doesn't look good, I just tell you know, oh, no other will look good and yeah, it's hopeless. So, yeah, I'm just going to click on the first one as usual, and then we're going to go edit. So, what I do over here, I mainly deal with my exposure, my contrast, my temperature, my tint, and my skin tone. That's it. So, what C6 already gives me sort of like this melanated... I feel like C6 is such a good melanin um, filter. The whole C range is such a good melanin filter. It's very melanin friendly. Won't make you look ashy at all or anything. So yeah, just once you choose C6, like I'm just going to go into... Oh wait, I don't use C6, I use C8, sorry guys. <laughs> so C8 is my go-to. I'm just going to edit this photo a little bit into what I think I want it to look like. Thing we're going to go to is the pasting tube. Pasting tube is free, guys, so you don't have to pay for anything. But you can do those crazy edits with Facetune 2. And for Facetune 2, what I Facetune 2, did you guys hear what I said? Facetune 2, Facetune 2, what I use is mainly the tool for whitening, details, and sometimes paint because something is black and the picture has made it look gray, so I paint it black. Yeah, so. We're here on Facetune. What I'm going to edit is this second photo. Oh, it's cute. Okay, so every tool that I mostly use is on Retouch, guys. So that's what we're going to click. Um, that's where you can find details, whiten, and everything. The whitening is for teeth, but, you know, we're room breakers. We're going to use, I think, mainly this side of the room. So I'm going to crop it to this side of the room only. So just whiten the wall. 
because here's the thing when you're taking a photo the lighting like me my light source is this window so when the lighting is coming on this way it's mainly focused on your body and then you cast a shadow on the wall and the lighting doesn't reach the wall the way it's supposed to so the wall ends up looking yellow or cream or like kind of washed out it doesn't look as white as it looks when you're looking at it because my room is very white but sometimes in a photo it can look a bit yellow or cream so you really want to like zoom in so that you can get um the white only on the wall and not on your clothes especially if you're already wear wearing white you're just going to look like i don't know what you're going to do it's not going to look good <laughs> so this is just like coloring guys it's like your your back to your nursery days where you're just coloring and this is why i call this art you know and then we're going to go into details for my shorts my top i just want everything to look the way it did in real life because also the lighting kind of washes out your details of your clothes your hair your makeup yeah yeah it made the photo look so much sharper guys so after that um do i need to do anything else here Oh, anything that's written and try is basically not free so if you use it you're going to have to take a screenshot of your photo from the app but that's not going to be very good quality and that's not the quality we're looking for no we're looking for sharp we're looking for precise we have to make people stay a lot okay <laughs> So that's it for this week's video. This video was fun to record because I got to do two things at once. So yeah, I got to hit two birds with one stone. But yeah, thank you so much for staying up to this point of the video. Um, if you stayed up to this point of the video, please comment charcoal. <laughs> Um, I'll see you guys in my next video. Thank you so much for all your support. I really love you guys and I really love how much support you guys give me. And yeah, I'll see you guys in my next one. Don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe and all that good stuff. And yeah, I'll miss you guys. See you in the next one. Bye T-Fam!